Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. Today we're going to be in the book of Romans and the King James Version of the Holy Bible, and we are in chapter 14. Him that is weak in the faith receive ye, but not to doubtful disputations. For one believeth that he may eat all things, another who is weak eateth herbs. Let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not, and let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth, for God hath received him. Who art thou that judgest another man's servant? To his own master he standeth or falleth, yea, he shall be holden up, for God is able to make him stand. One man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind, or um, convinced in his own mind. He that regardeth or observes the day regardeth it unto the Lord. And he that regardeth not the day, to him he doth, but to the Lord he doth not regard it. He that eateth, eateth to the Lord, for he giveth God thanks. And he that eateth not, to the Lord he eateth not, and giveth, thank, and giveth God thanks. Let me read that one again. <clears throat> he that regardeth the day, or is observes the day regardeth it unto the Lord and he that observes or regardeth not the day to the Lord he doth not regard it he that eateth eateth to the Lord for he giveth God thanks and he that eateth not to the Lord he eateth not and giveth God thanks for none of us liveth to himself and no man dieth to himself. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ both died and rose, and revived or lived again, that he might be Lord both of the dead and living. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set it not, set it not, or despise thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And this here in verse 11 is a, pro, um, a prophecy unfulfilled. <clears throat> For it is written, and in all caps it says, As I live, saith the Lord, Every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue confess to God. Verse 12. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Let us not therefore judge one another any more, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. I know and am persuaded by the Lord Jesus that there is nothing unclean of itself, but to him that esteemeth anything to be unclean, to him it is unclean. But if thy brother be grieved with thy meat or by your food what you eat, now walketh thou not charitably, destroy him not with thy meat for whom Christ died. Let not then your good be evil spoken of. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. For he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another or build up for meat or food destroy not the work of God all things indeed are pure 
but it is evil for that man who eateth with offense. In other words, if you're eating something just to offend your brother, that's a sin and that's evil. It is good neither to eat flesh nor to drink wine nor anything whereby thy brother stumbleth or is offended or is made weak. Hast thou faith? Have it to thyself before God. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he alloweth or approves. And he that doubteth is damned or condemned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. For whatsoever if is not of faith is sin. So don't let what someone's eating be a stumbling block for you. Don't judge them by what they eat. God bless, when you bless it, it's, it's acceptable before God when you give God thanks for it. Remember the sheet that the angels let down before Peter three times? Telling P Peter, kill and eat? And Peter said, oh, oh uh, Lord, I don't think so because I've never put anything in, on, uh, in my lips that defileth me. Because he was living by the laws given in Leviticus. The health laws saying, don't eat this and don't eat that because it's not good for you. It's not considered clean. Well, when that sheet came down, Christ said that what I make clean, let no man call unclean. So we're not to be separated because of the foods that we eat. No more than we are by the color of our skin. Okay? So, or our political party, or whether we have gotten a vaccination or didn't get a vaccination. None of that should divide us. We should not let any of that be a stumbling block before us, causing us to hate or against our brother in Christ. And as always, I love you.